Unraveling Exercise Authority, a guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel, where we make English learning simple and fun. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, exercise authority. Whether you've encountered it in a book, during a meeting, or in a movie, understanding what it means can truly elevate your comprehension of English. Let's explore this together and make it as clear as daylight. Exercise authority means to use or apply power or control over others in a given situation. This phrase encompasses a range of scenarios, from a teacher managing a classroom to a manager directing a team at work. It's about taking charge and making decisions that others follow. But exercising authority isn't just about telling people what to do. It's also about responsibility, leadership, and the skillful use of power to achieve goals, maintain order, or guide people in the right direction. It involves making tough decisions and sometimes enforcing rules or policies. To bring this concept to life, let's look at some examples. A police officer directing traffic exercises authority by using their position to ensure public safety. A parent exercises authority over their children by setting rules for their well-being. In a workplace, a supervisor exercises authority by assigning tasks and ensuring they're completed correctly. These examples show that exercising authority can occur in various contexts, not just in formal or official settings. It's about leadership and guiding others more than just wielding power. Exercising authority effectively requires several key components. Clear communication. You need to articulate your expectations and instructions clearly. Respect for others. Authority should be exercised with respect for those you're leading. Fairness. Decisions should be made and enforced fairly and consistently. Confidence. Display confidence in your decisions, which will help others trust and follow your lead. Remember, the goal of exercising authority is not just to assert power but to lead and manage situations or groups in a way that is beneficial and constructive. We hope this explanation sheds light on what it means to exercise authority and how it applies to various aspects of life and work. Exercising authority is a vital skill in leadership, management, and even in everyday life scenarios. Like any skill, it can be developed and refined over time with practice and reflection. Thank you for joining us today. We're excited to continue this journey of learning English together. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. See you in the next video.